Sunday, 325 p.m., we have got the Green Bay Packers heading to the Baltimore Ravens. And, of course, uh, the line is eh, here and there, on the board, off the board, etc., trying to figure out what's going to happen with Lamar Jackson. Uh, but as it sits right now, at multiple books, of course, this one, of course, brought to you by BetUS, uh, Ravens are a four-and-a-half-point dog at home, the favorite in this matchup. The last four times, the favorite is 4-0 and oh against the number Packers 8 and 1 against the spread their last 9 following a win. They are 5 and 1 against the spread their last 6 on the road. They have been covering machines so long as Aaron Rodgers is playing. The Ravens that that one uh against the spread loss there was actually No, no, no. I think they covered against against the They covered against, they covered against the, the, Chiefs. the Chiefs. That's right. They just didn't win the I game. know what it was. It was the New Orleans game at the beginning of the season. That's the one that yep. they they didn't cover. So the, the Ravens, 5-1 and one against the spread of their last six as a home dog. They are not in that position very often. But, it, it again, like you said, it's kind of tough to bet on this one without knowing whether or not Lamar Jackson is going to play. Like, or you can't. Tyler, you Tyler just, Hundley. You is, just can't. He's, he's fine. He's serviceable. Mm-hmm. He's, he's okay. He is not Lamar Jackson. Like, yeah. I, will, I will say that. There's not a number that you can look at. I, I'm going to take the Packers right now because it doesn't look like Lamar is going to play. Yep. Uh, but that's the only reason right now. Like, if you gave me four and a half with Lamar Jackson... I would take the Ravens all day, but it doesn't look like he's going to play. So, but, uh, what say you? So, here's the weird thing. I, I don't know that there's a number where I wouldn't take Aaron right now in the Packers. They just look unreal. Just really, really good. Really good. <laughs> it's I don't a video game. Ravens, <laughs> I don't think the Ravens' defense is very good at all. I've seen them a couple of times this year, and Lamar's having to carry this team just Herculean efforts. And and I I worry that we think the Ravens defense is really good because they've always been good. I will and, I will give you a number on that by the way. In the really uh, not. Ravens defense number 23 in total DVOA. Oh, so I didn't I didn't know that. I just yep. I just watched them a lot and I just they don't look good but people always have them ranked as a top defense still and I don't know what they're getting that from other than history. Well, it's, it's in a history it. book. We're yeah. playing. A, we're playing a season here, and they're struggling to get stops. You struggle to get stops against Aaron. It's going to be a long night for you. Yes. So I kind of don't care if Lamar plays or not. The line's not going to change in my eyes. If you get a better number, you know, because Lamar's playing. How hobbled is he? How strong is he? You know, it's an ankle sprain. All he does is run. So, so much of his game. I'm saying is running. That's just really hard. I'll take the Packers. I'll take the Packers no matter the number. I I like where you're going with that. I like where you're going with it. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com. And if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.